Hello, it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today is Retro Toy Tuesday, so I thought I would check out this fun toy from back in the early 1990s. These are called Cool Tools. These were made by Play School, again, back in the early 90s. They were made for preschool age children and they were really fun tools, very cool tools. Um, and so I thought I would hunt these down. My kids played with these back in the mid 90s. So I thought it'd be really fun again to check these out and have a little collection for my toy collection of retro toys of these really fun, cool tools. So here is the package for this one. We're gonna go ahead and open these all up today. Thought that would be really fun. It says it comes with a tough tool pouch for your belt and real metal tools. So they have metal and plastic components and a little holder here. I believe they used to sell a belt that these would all fit in. They had a whole bunch of really cool things. It says look for other metal cool tools and accessories for more fun. You can see here that they're made by Play School. It says collect them all. It looks like they had a ball peen hammer, a hacksaw, a wood brace, a carpenter square, Phillips screwdriver, C-clamp, a nut driver, angled pliers, a jack plane, a rip saw, a wood chisel, and locking pliers in this collection. They had other collections too. Um, so really fun set of tools. Great way for kids back then to learn about tools. I think that that's so fun. I've got a wood chisel here. This is an open-ended wrench. This has some other ones on it here. This is pliers, adjustable wrench, screwdriver, socket wrench, hammer. I think that hammer is super cute. Needle nose pliers, open end wrench, a level, a combination square, a box wrench, a monkey wrench, and lineman's pliers. So super fun. Bunch of toys. Here's the socket wrench. And then we also have some firefighter tools. They had a couple of um, other themes. They had gardening themes. They had firefighting themes. I believe they had some adventure type camping theme, but I thought these firefighting ones were really awesome. My grandson loves fire trucks and things like that. So I thought he would get a real kick out of these. So you can see the fire and rescue sets. We'll open those up in just a minute, but let's go ahead and open up all of our little tools first. We're going to go ahead and start with this Phillips screwdriver here. I'm going to be sure to keep the backing nice so that I have some of those pictures. We'll save a couple of those for our collection. Here is the tool. They had a really nice weight to them. You can see they're blunt tipped and shorter so that they'd be pretty safe. But really, really fun. Those are so cool. Okay. And then let's check out the little pouch that it comes with. Okay, and here's the little pouch that it came with. Cute little ruler that they came with. Looks like it just stays in there. Then you could put your tool right into your pouch and loop it onto the little belt that they had or a belt of your own. So that's really fun. So there's the little screwdriver. Let's go ahead and open up the wood chisel. So here is the wood chisel. You can see that. This way kids could really learn the name of these tools and pretend that they were fixing things. I think that's so great. So there's that one. And we've got our little open end wrench. So here is a, this. It's a very sturdy, nicely made, heavy metal tool there. It's kind of rounded out. Again, not really made to be functional, just for pretend. But that's okay because I think that they're really, really neat. I think this would be a fun toy for them to come back out with. I think that it would be really cool to have these again. And then we've got here the socket wrench. Okay, and here's the socket wrench. This one doesn't have any moving parts. Just a nice, sturdy little tool here. Good size for little tiny hands. You could see this is perfect for that preschool age. Very fun. I just love the way that these were made. A really nice quality fun toy for pretend tool play. And then here is a level here. I wonder if that actually works. It might be that the water has dried up over the years. We'll have to get this out and check it out. Okay, so there is this here. And it doesn't have any water in it. So it's definitely just a pretend level. I still think it would have been nice for them to put water in this. 
I, again, I don't know if it's just because this is a, a very old toy, if the water has dried up, but it doesn't really look like it ever had any water in it. I like that it's got this little hole here so you could run a string through if you wanted to. Still a really fun little toy to imagine that you are using a level for your project. So there's that. We've got two more of the little individual tools in the back here. And then we'll open up our fire sets, our fire and rescue sets. Okay, so here we have a box wrench. And here is the little box wrench. Again, just very similar to the other little wrenches. And a little fun, sturdy little holder here. There we go. And then our last of the individual tools, this is a little nut driver. And here is this one, cute little tiny handle, neat little tool here. Very, very fun. I just love these. I'm so excited to show these to my son to see if he remembers having these as a little boy or not. I think he'll get a kick out of them. And um, yeah, they're really neat toys. I just love them. Okay, so next let's go ahead and check out this really cool fire set here. Cool tools, fire and rescue. It's got a shovel, an ax, a fire hydrant, and let's see, whatever this is, a... Oh, a hydrant wrench. Okay, that's cool. Again, made by Play School. It says look for these other cool tools, fire and rescue sets, and we've got them both. Again, this one has the hydrant, the hydrant wrench, the axe, and the folding shovel. I think these are so cute. This would be perfect for any child who's into fire trucks or firefighting toys. So now I'm going to go ahead and open this one up and we'll check out all four of these individual pieces. I also have to say I really appreciate the design of vintage packaging. They used quite a bit less plastic. There were still some plastic so that you could see the items, but most of this is just paper, easy to recycle. The cards, again, I love toys on cards. Just a nice simple piece of plastic and cardboard that you could recycle. Not a ton of inner packaging and uh, things like that. So I really do appreciate that uh, the vintage toy wrapping was uh, like this. That would be something I think also toys com toy companies could bring that back. I am starting to see that in um, some of the toy packaging. They're starting to go a little bit simpler, which is so nice. So here we go. This is the fire hydrant. Now this one's a little bit lighter. This I think is just plastic, but this is the little metal component here. It does seem like it twists on and off. I wonder if it opens up. Hmm, we'll have to see that. I love that these have a few of the moving parts. This one moves. This is the hydrant wrench. Looks like it kind of moves up and down a little bit. So that's fun. It does open a little bit there. And then we've got our axe. Very sturdy axe with the nice metal component here. I love that. That is so cute. And then we've got our little shovel for fighting fires. And it folds down for storage, which I think is super cool. There's a little cool tool emblem there. It's got some of the pretend little serrated edges that some firefighting and um, camping shovels might have. Very useful. Okay, let's take a look at this a little bit more and see if we can get this off here. Okay, it does, it does come off. You just kind of have to give it a little bit of a turn here and then you could hook up your fire hose and be ready to go with that. So it's neat that these have a little bit more of uh, parts that move versus these here that don't really have moving parts. I think some of them did and some of them didn't, but that is really cool. I love the fire hydrant. That is super fun. You could use that also um, in different play scenes if you're playing firefighter with your fire trucks and things like that. So cute. Okay, let's check out the last set here. Here is the rescue set. It's also got four pieces. It says it includes a badge, a firefighter's badge, an extinguisher, a pickaxe, and bolt cutters. Okay. Here they are right there. Bolt cutters, pickaxe, extinguisher, and a firefighter's badge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one opened up. So here are some of the tools here. Look at this one, it has like an open and shut action there. This is solid metal, it's really nice. This is the bolt cutters. There we go, some bolt cutters. Here's the really cool fire extinguisher. I think that's awesome, this comes apart. Here, so you can move that to put out the fire. 
That's really neat. Here we have a pickaxe. That's nice. We've got the regular axe and a pickaxe here. And lastly, the firefighter badge. It says chief there. So you could play that you are a firefighter. So those are our cool tools. I absolutely love them. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these fun retro 1990s toys, cool tools. They were very fun, and I really hope this one makes a comeback. I think this is a great retro toy. Definitely some good memories of my son playing with these when he was a little preschooler as well. So I hope you enjoyed taking a look at these cool tools. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.